myself, I've experienced that situation when I was 25, 25 years old. And they had to give me eight pints of blood. Before that even happened, I, I was able to see my own body laying on the bed. And I was, um, I felt that light and that peace and that calmness. And so I said to her that that, that evidence, as far as I'm concerned, there is that God's kingdom is real. It's the flesh, our physical flesh, the regardless of how well we may say we feel. So that you've been there, I'm feeling fine. We know that the human body gives us a warning when we're sick. We start to feel pain and discomfort, you know, in various areas and so forth. When we leave the body, there's a perfect feeling. There's no pain. There's nothing. Because that physical part of us, the flesh, is no more. But there's peace in the spirit. The war that we go through, the sins, the trials that we face, they're all in the flesh. And I was able to experience that experience. And I remember making a vow to God. I remember waking up when they, when they managed to revive me after giving me the eight pints of blood. I was thanking God in front of them. The nurse was laughing. The said, yes, you're, you're alive, you're alive. And I think about the fact that I didn't carry on my promise to God. I carried on living reckless until I got to the age of 40. So I have so much to thank God for. His mercy, His favor, it's, it's, it's jeopardy. I've experienced all of it. So I have no excuse, none, none, none whatsoever. But God is, God is merciful, God is faithful, God is true. And I think a lot of times we have to remember when we're ministering to others, we have to remind ourselves what it's like to be in their position. It's very easy for us when we come to God now, we feel God for trial. And I, I'm always adamant to make sure to let people know that it doesn't mean because you come to God that now everything is perfect. And I think if anything, sometimes that mentality puts them off. When they are saying, yes, you know, all you got to do is this, and all you got to do is that, it's not easy. If it was easy, then Paul would never say, I die to the flesh daily. Every day, I die to the flesh. They wouldn't be saying, you know, search me, Lord, and see if you find anything written in me, and then move it. Now, in Proverbs 23, verse 7, it says, well, as, a, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. You know, even that's an example of, of us being reminded to be truthful in what we say. Is what I'm saying, is it, is it coming from the heart? Or am I just trying to tickle the ears with those who are listening? What I'm saying from my heart, or am I trying to tickle the ears? Because that's the part that God's going to search. Everything I say today on this platform, everything I say to my son, everything I say to, to, to clients, etc., all of it, God can hear anything I'm saying. Is it from my heart, or am I just trying to tickle the ears of the people that I'm speaking to? In, in James, James 1, verse 20 to 25, it says, be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. He who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Again, clarifying to, to be truthful in what we're doing. Not to deceive ourselves. When Christ said, you cannot worship two masters for you will love one and hate the other. We're reminded again that we have to make sure that we've been true to ourselves. We're doing what we do from the heart. When we hear the word, understand what that word is telling us. Not just think it sounds great, but not put it into practice for ourselves. We say amen and hallelujah, but in our own personal lives, when all the doors are closed, we just by ourselves in our private times. What do we think about? What thoughts are going through our head? What's the will that we have? What's the intention that we have? What's in our heart? If God, if God's looking down at us, is he pleased? with what's coming out of our mouths and what in the heart does it, does it match up we looked into the perfect law of liberty the perfect law is God's law the perfect law so we cannot afford to be forgetful that God can see 
God knows everything we're doing, everything we're saying, He sees it all. And that's where we're able to exercise the fear of God because we can we can say to another human being all the things that they want to hear and sound wonderful saying it. But God knows the heart. We can fool the people, cannot fool God. So again, as it says, be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, it is like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty who's in it and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this one will be blessed in what he does so i really believe it's important that we remind ourselves that and i believe that these words remind us to be humble remind us who we were remember who we were who we were and yet god still has mercy on us remember who we were when we're speaking to other people we're trying to encourage to come to god we're not saying that we have all the answers, that we're perfect. We're saying that we have found love, purpose, mercy, favor. We found salvation in Christ. We found peace. Mm -hmm. We found joy in him. And that which he has given to us, we want to share that with others. We're saying to people, do not be afraid of what's happening right now in these perilous times. You know, today they're talking about more lockdowns, more restrictions. It's only a matter of time before they tell you that you can't, you can't go to work unless you have a vaccination. You can't drive your car anywhere. You can't get car insurance unless you have a vaccination. You can't go to the supermarket unless you have a vaccination. This is gonna, it's gonna be endless. I, I see it coming down the pipeline. And when we say that we are family, when we are part of the body of Christ, God is looking down, we will see now. Now we're going to be living what we were reading about all these years in Scripture. It's going to come to us now. It's on our doorstep now. What will we do in that time and in that day? It's very easy to speak, but to do is completely different. Hearers and doers is completely different. Peter spoke very confidently, I will never deny you. And Christ rebuked him and said, three times people deny me and three times he did Hebrews 11 verse 1 says by faith we understand now faith is the substance of things hoped for but the evidence of things not seen not to believe in something that you've not seen but to believe in it and to stay focused on believing it and focus on your mind controlling what you allow the enemy to plant in your mind we see that this world is being controlled through fear through fear mongering war mongering fear mongering that they're out there bringing fear to our doorstep every day tv the tv set the media we need to control what we allow into us into our space because what we allow into our space will contaminate the mind god wants to transform the mind of his people not allow it to be contaminated by Satan and these people they're, they're the workers of Satan and we have to guard our minds guarding our minds means that we're able to guard our hearts and just focus on the promises of God in 2 Corinthians 5 to 7 we walk by faith not by sight so all these people are bombarding us with fear and to be careful and get the vaccination. In fact, I heard today that they said some people are cheating. They're trying to vaccinate the elderly at the moment. But it's that many people are trying to jump the queue to get the vaccination. In spite of the fact that all this information is out there warning us how dangerous this vaccination is. And yet people are fighting to get in queue, jump the queue and get the vaccination first. The people are blinded. They can't see. As the Bible says, my people perish through lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. This is the reality that we're living in. 
So even when we come trying to bring the good news that Christ lives and because he lives we can face tomorrow, because he lives we can cast our fears on him. The people are blinded by fear. They're blinded by, by what they see because all they care about is what they see with their eyes. There's no faith, there's no trust. This is the battle that we face trying to encourage others. So we have to be, we have to be us, as servants of the Almighty, of the Most High God. We have to be seers, hearers, and doers of the word. We have to make sure that what we're saying is what we're doing. And that what we do, we do it cheerfully. We give up our time with goodness of heart. We give what we can with goodness of heart that we represent him in spirit and in truth. These are end times. And when God calls us, he's going to call us and ask us to account for our time once we gave our life to him. What love did we show to those that were lost? What patience did we show? Did we condemn or did we show love in our hearts like he has shown for us? Finally, I must also say as well, what's amazing, I was also adding that it's important because she said to me, um, in regards to those that find an experience, the near-death experience, what happens to the ones that don't come back? Do they go to hell? So I responded and said to her, we don't know where they go. It's impossible they didn't come back, so there's no proof of that. But the evidence is that those who saw the light, it was the same experience for all because they left their bodies. They were experiencing something in the spirit. And we have to try, although we're not having near-death experiences while we're walking and living on this earth, the Bible teaches us to be in the world, but not of it. So we're in a world consumed by COVID and by propaganda and agenda. But we're to be in it, but not of it. So the way we experience and, and receive the information should not be the same as those that don't have Christ. We can, we can observe confidently but being prepared for the for the for the famine ahead for the dry season where we're, we're told to represent him in in, in in the good times bad in the harvest and the famine no matter what the situation is when we're to stand firm we're told to put on the whole armor of christ so that we know the time does come we can trust in him with all of our might and these days are here right now. Right now. So it's easy for us to speak boldly until the time comes. But when, no, when everything is, is, is taken away, you never know. There's a saying that man never knows himself until his back is against the wall. And I would say Peter was a great example of that. And all his disciples were terrified when that time came. How will we stand? As, as this situation begins to deteriorate, Will we give up? There's someone, I won't mention the person's name, but there's someone who I heard got a vaccination yesterday, very close, part of the family, and I was shocked. I could not believe that they made the decision to get vaccinated. I was shocked, could not believe it. But there's a lot of fear out there, sadly. We represent him, we must bring confidence back because our faith is not your man, but our faith is in Christ, who is faithful, and we know that God's mercy endures forever. Those are my few words in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Speak. Speak. Amen. Um, Amen. I wanted to. I wanted to read the scripture. So, greetings, everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Who's that? I wanted to read um, Matthew um, chapter 13. Amen. The same day when Jesus out of the house and sat by the sea, 
And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some, th some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they have not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some one hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. You have heirs to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. For whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore, speak, I speak to them in parables, because they see not, and hearing they not, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of as 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 as, as which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall and not um and shall not perceive for this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart it should be converted and i should heal them but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for verily i say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them hear, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower when any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart this is he which receives seed by the, by the wayside but he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not read in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word. And the care of the world and deceitfulness of riches choke the choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable, and put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto man which has sowed good seed in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, did this now thou sow good seed in thy field? From hence then have it tares? He said unto them, Any, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let us both grow together unto the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat in my barn. Another parable put forth, he said unto them, saying the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field which indeed is the least of all seeds but when it is grown it is the greatest among the herbs and becometh a tree 
so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spoke, spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of milk, till the whole was leavened. All things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without parables spake he not unto them. That I might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. So. Amen. 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 Well, I, I wanted to, just to say that uh, we understand that Jesus spoke in many parables, but these parables have a message. These parables have meaning. These parables are, what I learned is that these parables are physical things which are meant to be parallel to spiritual things. So these parables that you saying, for example, um, this, um, this parable about the seeds and the seeds dropping in fertile ground and hard ground and and they all put and how they blossom some being fruitless but some being fruitful and these seeds are supposed to be representing the people in the kingdom those who hear the word and understand the word and bring in others to grow and they grow because of the word. But then those who do not understand the word misinterpret the word. And therefore they do not grow and they do not bring in others. So my my message today is for everyone to grow. Grow your mind. Grow your understanding. Um grow grow your grow your Grow, your, grow yourself in terms of your knowledge. Learn more. And by you doing that, you're just making yourself on a closer step. You're, you're creating a, a greater journey with God, a greater pathway. And that's how I want to end um, today. Amen, amen, amen. 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 May I ask, sorry, sorry, as um, when you were reading, someone was calling me, I have to distract me. Where were you uh, reading if you were? Matthew chapter 13. The, okay, I thought, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see <laughs> this is, well, I'll, I, I'll speak later because this is the second time now. So I'm, I'm not going to say that. Let that talk to you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so, gre greetings, my brother. Greetings. Greetings. What happened to you? Um, what happened? I just came on from work a few minutes before seven, and I switched okay. on, and then I went to make a cup of tea. And when I get got back, you all got started. Um, uh, okay, so um, no I'm glad to join you all tonight. Um, greetings to you all, brother David, brother, brother Albert, and brother Marcus. Um, I, I'm sorry to say that I, I won't be able to stay too long with you. I have another Zoom meeting to attend. Um, it does start at seven. Um, a good friend of mine died a few week, a week ago, or so ago. Um, nice man, yeah. Bishop Bishop Witter. Um, Adonis. Yes, yes, yes. A very nice man. Very, very nice man. He lives in Peckham. He has a church in Peckham. Um, so unfortunately, I can't go to visit him. I spoke to his wife, and they're not. They're not. Their church church is closed, so they're doing Zoom meetings. So I promise I will try and join him later tonight. Today. Amen. So, oh, yeah, that's, you know, good. that's good, man. That's yeah, good. Yeah, but um, you know, the, you know, God bless you, and um, you know, David, your presentation was very good. I have. Uh, I, I follow you on everything you said. Um, I was listening, but everything Amen. you said, and I qu quite agree with everything you said. There's so much um, going on today, and um, we see we see so many peoples are fearing 
and doing things out of fear. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, thank God for you, young Marcus. You're growing, you're growing, which is good. Continue to grow. Um, you know, um, I hope you're feeling a little better now. Um, we've been praying for you. Um, Yes, I'm feeling much better. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, most people who got coronavirus, they say 90 some percent of them recover. It's only a very it's few, selective. very few people it's who not. succumb to it, and it's because maybe they have medical problem of you know yes. other problems so you know to be honest with you as you said mentioned david i'm just <laughs> not going to be too long um yeah. the, the, what is going on is a fear-mongering thing fear-mongering i'm not saying there's not a virus out there i'm not saying that but i'm saying yeah. it is so blown up it is unbelievable and yes. um brethren what we need to see is understand what is happening now it's a head clash of good mm -hmm. and evil that's what That's it is. Right. The demons are out there. Yes. And they're controlling the powers that be. If we can't see that, then we, we need to open our spiritual eye. Amen. If we can't see that demons are running this world, well, we are spiritually blind. Mm -hmm. And God has given us a spirit of discernment. That's right. So we should know when a man is good. The Bible said by their fruit, you shall know them. Amen. So we should actually identify people by their fruits, the word that come out of their mouth. And you know, you mentioned David quite rightly, um, not, we cannot be just hearers of the word. We must be doers of the word. We can't say we love God and serve in the devil. We can't say we love God and follow in the way of the world. We can't say we love God and live in, in fear. That's right. You know, and um, I was, when you was talking, I was looking at this scripture taken from Revelation um, mm -hmm. chapter uh, uh, 21. Revelation chapter 21, and I'm just going to read two verses. It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will, I will be his God and he shall be my son. Amen. But hear what it says in verse 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the warmongers, the sorcerers and the idolaters, the liars, and they that shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Brethren, one thing we have to do, we talk about faith, we talk about love, we talk about um, holiness, righteousness, and all these things. But you know what we need to do? We, as children of God, must overcome fear. Amen. If we do, you, you mentioned that, David, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That fear is causing people to make some f some strange acting in some strange ways. Yes. Fear is making people doing some strange things, and people mm -hmm. who you expect to have understanding right. through fear, yeah. they have fear. lost the sense of understanding. Yes. Fear. Mm -hmm. Brother Albert. Fear. Yes. I fear. Know. I'm not I saying know, fear. I'm not saying fear. We cannot be fearful, but we must not let fear mm -hmm. rule over us. Amen, Peter. We must. Yes. You see what the Bible says? It says the fearful and the unbelieving. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, but but you look at these words, and but Marcus, you're a young man in the gospel, and you're growing up. Look at these words: the fearful, the unbeliever. So basically. When we are fearful, we even, you talk about hearers of the word, when we are mm -hmm. fearful, we are, are unbelieving. That's right. So we have a form of godliness, but we deny the, we deny the, the power thereof. Am I right? That's right. Are you with yes. me, brethren? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. 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 This yes is, sir, now, you mentioned, talk about doing the doors of the word is doing the word. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm surprised, as you are, David, that so many people are lining up, 
they are lining up to take a vaccine. And Christians, this is a, this is a surprising thing. Yes. Christians are already. What is, what what is happening? What is going on? There's a big shift. There's a big shift. Massive shift. Uh, and you know, you begin to find out. So, 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 Donald, you begin to find out who is who now, right? Exactly. You begin to see who is who. Exactly. Those you thought were, you're seeing a different thing. To me, it's like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 Marcus mentioned about the, the wheat and the tea going together. And um, mm. this is a separation of the wheat and the tea. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. This is a separation that on the week it says he if we, we are children of god we are overcomers he that right. overcometh shall inherit all things i'm an overcomer you're an overcomer we will not if not if my brethren mm -hmm. not if but we will and we shall Mm -hmm. overcome, overcome. and why right. should we overcome why, how, how, why, how and why should we overcome mm -hmm. because Jesus overcome that's right and since he overcome we are also overcomer mm -hmm. so he that overcomes shall inherit all things that's right and I will be his God and he shall be my son but we have to overcome fear we have, if we fear is my, you know, the Bible says, Satan tremble when the weakest of saints bow down on his knees. You go down on your knees and you call upon God, and the devil tremble. We don't have to be conquered by fear. We don't have to be governed by fear. We don't have to be directed by fear. You know, you mentioned as well, uh, David, about uh, Peter. Peter said, Peter said, I will die for you. That's right. Said to Jesus, I will die for you. Jesus said to him, before the cock crows twice, you can deny me thrice. Why did Peter say it? Peter meant it. Peter, the, the thing is that Peter loved the Lord so much in his heart, he would die for Jesus. And uh, as you see, in the end, he did die for Jesus. Did that, Peter did die for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But at the time when, they, when the little girl saw him and said, you're one of them, mm -hmm. he did not have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why. <laughs> that is why. Again. That's why he denied Jesus, because he did say not have the Holy Spirit. But in the upper room, when Jesus ascended, when this Jesus ascended, is, yes, sir, when Jesus ascended to heaven, was about to ascend to heaven, he said, preach the gospel, go and preach the gospel unto every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But before you do, go to the upper room and tarry until you are endured with power from high. And we saw that they waited. And the Bible says there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind and filled the house where they were sitting. And they all received the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit was upon them. Mm. Once Peter received the Holy Spirit, he was prepared and he made up his mind he would die for Jesus. And he died for Jesus. Exactly. So we can't just exactly. serve God. We have to have the Spirit of God with us to deliver us from fear. Mm -hmm. to help us to conquer fear. We can't do it in ourselves. Yes, right. Peter thought he could do it in, in himself, but he couldn't do it mm -hmm. until he had that upper room experience when the Spirit of God was upon him. Mm -hmm. But he meant it. But he couldn't do it of himself. We can't do nothing of ourselves, but with Jesus we can do all things. That's right. Because he is our Lord and our Savior, our Redeemer, our Deliverer from every, every circumstances. You remember, you remember, Brother Donald, they said in the scripture tells us, it says, these people honor me with their lips, but yes. their heart is gone. Christ also said, if it was to save their life, they will lose it. That's it. to lose your life for my name's sake, your reward will be great. So we have no, we have no choice. That's right. 
As I said, we've been worshipping in comfort for a long time. Now the day of reckoning is here. That's right. And you know, another one, another scripture there, David, it says, Birds have nests, foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no way to lay his head. No, you remember that scripture? Yes. You that's remember right, that scripture? Yeah. So um, I, I am yeah. so shocked. I'm telling you, I'm so shocked by what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I Same am so man. shocked by what I'm seeing. I am absolutely shocked <laughs> by the thought, the thought of falling away. People are so, uh, I don't know, people have changed so much. Um, the and the language that they're using, yeah, I believe, I believe. But the thing is, though, D, you have to understand is that, you know, it, I don't want to get the thing, you know, the people are dying and so on. I'm, I'm listening up for That is goodness. fear. That is fear. That is That's fear. Right. Yes, yeah, fear. That is yeah. fear. And when, when you remind them about the scriptures, they go quiet. And yes. Oh, okay. God bless you. They don't want it. They don't want to hear that. It's very sad. Very sad, my brother. Very, very, very sad. Very sad. Very, very sad. And there's one more scripture. Uh, if I could just mention the scripture to you before I, before I leave. Um, Romans eight and Romans eight and from verse twenty eight. Just listen to this. It says, "For." It says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them God. that love God. Love the Lord. Amen. Mm. To them that are mm. called according to his purpose. Everything works together for our good. It doesn't matter how it looks. It doesn't matter how it looks. It says, all things work together for the good. If uh, once we love God, I'm telling you, mm. the door may seem like a door there, but <laughs> God will make us walk through that door, and that's the faith that we have to have. It doesn't matter what the obstacle is; God mm. will take us through that obstacle because mm. He's God. All things work together for the good of them that love God, who are called according to his purpose. Amen. My brethren, let us continue, let us continue. Let us continue, let us continue. Holding on to Jesus. Fight this good fight of faith. It's a fight. It is a fight. You it's know, the race is not for the spirit. Remember, the race is not for the spirit. Amen. But those that can Amen. It's a fight. Endure. It is a fight. Right. But let us continue. I, I, I am going along fearful, fearless. I'm telling the truth. And the thing is, if I become fearful, then I can't. I can't, I can't think straight. I don't want to allow that to happen. I will not allow fear, faith, fear to control my life. I will not allow it. I will not allow it. And my God, your God, is able to deliver us. He is able. And that's one assurance we have. Young Marcus, continue trusting, continue studying your Bible. I'm sure the Lord is, is dealing with you because you're getting into the Word of God and God can use you as a young man. To help to to to, cut, to help others into the kingdom, Virgin, right. God bless you, brother Albert. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm still here, but I let you have your say. Uh, oh, oh, you don't go in here. Mm. Okay. Ah, well, um, uh, that is that's another platform from last uh, yes, uh, um, last week, um, and uh, now today again. Um. I don't know what God is doing with little, little Mark. I know he's my friend, but it's <laughs> last time he read a scripture, and I, I, I was telling that scripture, and today he come again. Now. He mm -hmm. went to Matthew. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's getting into it. He's, get, he's getting into it, man. He's getting into it. Mm -hmm. And I, and I've been, I've been spending my time <laughs> yesterday, before yesterday, last week. I've been spending my time in that scripture. Uh -huh. and there's so many, so many, so many scriptures which have been prepared from there. But I was not prepared for me today. But the guy come, 
and yep. read the whole chapter. <laughs> and the chapter I read, which is very get me excited, is one chapter you read about when Jesus spoke parable yeah. to the disciples and he told them why. He told them why because uh because Peter, first of all, Peter leave his wife. You see now what you and David saying mm -hmm. to be real. Another word for you to have that confidence, that trust in, in Jesus to die on behalf, to have no fear. Yes. He said, Peter, that's right. Why? For my purpose, for me, because of you and James and John, which I didn't know in that scripture, I find out that James and John, the father was a businessman and Peter was 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 working with James fishing John the John father the, the father owned the business and and he said because you leave your business for my sake so those now those who doesn't those who's not willing to know to know the word to know so therefore I can't tell them that parable the parable is for you and, 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 and this is why I truly believe the Holy Spirit for me, I believe when for you to not fear. And even even whoever whoever shared the word have to go. And and, and and I believe God is showing me from especially from last year, I've been using the scripture and I'm gonna use it until the end of the day. The end of time. I'm gonna use my word and thank you mark little mark for that and thank you uh uh yes uh last week david and donald as well david went to um and that's the key as well that scripture and years ago i didn't understand that's 20 years ago i didn't understand matthew chapter 6 from verse 10 that kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is again if you look at that that chapter i'm not going to stay long on there what little Mark read is many verse, kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. And this is where, why, you got to ask yourself a question, why Jesus used those kind of words, Mark, why? And last week, David started with kingdom, Mark 6. So, so me, I believe, this is a message where I believe as well, in our time, a lot of, a lot of men of poor, I'm not, I'm not, because when I, when I, when I got saved, I find, I, I learn and I see uh, every, 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 most men of God, pastors, bishop, whatever, they, they, they have a, a ministry like healing, faith, you know, holiness, you know, but, but this part, very few, very, those few, <laughs> most of them, they don't exist. So, and I believe the day that for you as not to fear and i believe god give me <laughs> two words in that area or three words is mark chapter one now mark chapter one i is said the time promised by god has come at last he no the at last the kingdom of God is near. Repent of our sin and believe the good news. For me, I said our problem, what make even believers fear, is that. Because any one of us, if a guy like David, King David, the Bible says this man is Psalm 51, we all know that guy repent. Mm -hmm. and, and for me there is a problem there where that message did not come that's why that's why we got so a lot of us got caught up of yeah but the thing is look at look at jesus now look at jesus it said mark mark um mark mark three now i believe this is one of the scripture like the day when he come back after three days and then before he come back before and then when he goes on the cross i believe this scripture this is what i believe bring peter 
to that stage what you are just saying, Donald. I don't have to repeat because you say everything is right. I agree. But listen, this this scripture here, look at this scripture. For me, and scripture as well, is really testing my heart. And now I'm beginning to ask God, why you show me that scripture? I know, I know that scripture, but I, I, I never. And I've been sitting on it now, probably over a month. He said, Mark, now, now Mark chapter 3. I was reading chapter 1 first. He said, I tell you, verse 28, 20, 20, 28 and 29, he said, I tell you the truth, all sin. He said, I tell you the truth, all sin, and blaspheme against be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. That is a sin internal. <laughs> that sin is internal. And I believe, because um, don't know you mentioned about, about, uh, about, about the Holy Spirit. And, and, and do you think right now it could be me too that people actually flow with the Holy Spirit, obey the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit Jesus left to teach us. Same way with Peter, like you said. Peter feed by the all the disciples feed except except only one who died. He killed himself, Judas. But they feel, but do you think now he's talking about blasphemy? Jesus is saying, if you blaspheme against me, Jesus, that's the body, Jesus, the body. That's that's why there's a difference, the body and and, 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 and the Messiah, Christ. So now Jesus said, if you blaspheme. <laughs> And now, if you blaspheme against me, it's okay. But you, 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 you be forgiven. But, but if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, do we? And how many times that people will come to you? People who even live now. Just imagine that. Any one of us here, because little Mark just been weak, just been saved, just a, a, a month ago, whatever. But I'm saying to you, our journey, Donald, David, myself, how many people who come to you will tell you how they've been mistreated about such of either a group of people and, and, and the pastors or whatever. And, and, and they always say church. But, but now, for me, this scripture, it doesn't matter who hurt you, who doesn't hurt you. It doesn't matter what. I know sometimes it hurts, but the thing is that that if Jesus is making clear to us, this is for me, is that is a serious warning. If, if you blaspheme against him, Jesus, you'll be forgiven. But if you blaspheme against how many, how we know many people not, even these people that you are talking about here, how you know that they don't blaspheme? Huh? Why? Why this statement? Why this statement? Now, look at Jesus now. For, for, for that, the same chapter, chapter 3, he goes 33, 34. Now, look at Jesus the way now. Look, look at Jesus the way he, he approach and tell the people. Either you are seeing or you're not seeing. Jesus tell you, look, he said, 33. Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who are my brother? Then he looked at those around him. Are those who are on him? <laughs> Is the same disciple what you don't know what talking about? Is the same disciple what little Mark was saying Jesus spoke to Matthew 13. So he said, look at him, look around him, and say, look these. Look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God will is my brother and sister and mother. Now, don't tell me Jesus doesn't know that Mary was his mother. And I won't even believe that, 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 
that Jesus didn't love Mary. Because when he was on the cross, he told John, this is your mother. And the world look after her. But yet, remember the first miracle Jesus did, why? Jesus, his mother went to Jesus, he said, look, they ran out with wine. Jesus said, it's not your hour. In other words, Jesus said, look. <coughs> was Jesus rude to her, to his mother? Look, that's not your business. You don't come between me and my father. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> and what Mary said? Mary said, whatever he said, just do it. And the Bible said, Mary, from Jesus was 12 years old. Everything Jesus did say, Mary put it in, put in her heart. For her as well to be have that kind of understanding and faith, her son, which her son was not belong to her. No, I, 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 my argument is these are no argument. My, my, it, it, are we? Are we? Are we? These people that you are saying you surprised the way they, I, I, are they? Are they not make, 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 make mistakes sometimes? Blaspheme against. The Holy Spirit. Would the Holy Spirit live in them? Why they have that fear? Would the Holy Spirit live in them? Because there's nothing. Every text I send right now, I send to them, to anybody in my country. You, the biggest, the biggest thing important, right? Not right now. It's been always there. And the Holy Spirit. Without, just imagine if we are three together to the four. If there was no Holy Spirit. What would happen to us if Jesus, when Jesus left, didn't leave the Holy Spirit? What would happen? How powerful Satan would be to dictate control and to do more worse than ever with the Holy Spirit? But I believe there's a gap misunderstanding of Jesus when he said, blasphemer, you can blaspheme against me, Jesus, but not the Holy Spirit. So now, are we, do those people, or the people that you know, that you say you said, why? Are they, are they doing what Jesus said? Like you said, go to Jerusalem and wait. Peter and all the disciples, wait for the Holy Spirit. So now, I think there is a problem there. And why Jesus would say to his, his these people who come and call him, your mother is outside. Why he would say, this disciple, his mother, his brother, his sister. Why this disciple? Why? Why? It for me is a similar what Jesus was saying. What what where little Mark read Matthew 13. This parable because of you are committed. You 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 ready to die for me. You 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 want to know you want to know you want to know you want to learn and i'm giving to you i'm not giving to them because they're not and this is where sometimes even as we have people who come to us they make you feel guilty they say look the way they've been treating me i went there these people they're supposed to be they tell me about Christ. look at the way they've been treated look what they say to me but i believe when you don't have the word and little Mark with one, again, one part of Mark today is little Mark highlight. I can't remember, but I will find it out. At the word. But to me, to do what you were saying between you, Donald and David, about, about, about Christ, to do that, is the word. Is the word, the word. It, I always say, the word. When people, a lot of people say, you, they judge. They, no, the word of God. He change you, he correct you, but the word of God now is judge. You, me, and you, our mind, our heart, what we we think, that's what Jesus warned us. Don't judge the way you, the way you say it. That His word, when you speak His word, His word, He, he correct you, He change you, and He will judge you. The word of God will judge you, but now. But my last verse is what you guys been saying. Look at um, Luke chapter 12, because after that I don't. Now, look at verse 12, verse 4, two verses, verse 4 and, and 5. I say, unto, I say to you, my friends, my friend, to do not.
be afraid of those who kill the body and after that I have nothing more that they can do after they have nothing what he can do so he said but I will point out to you whom you should fear fear the one who <laughs> fear the one who <laughs> fear the one who after he has killed as authority and power to rule you into hell yes I say to you stand in the great of God and fear him <coughs> that's me Amen. only fear we have is God that's, that's right that's right that's so and, and, and that's right. listen I, I, I'm telling you the story I will let you and I'm telling you this thing I said that last year I even said that so many times to you David too and I'm saying to you not because no no not, not me because what's happened what I can see scripture because every time you guys say something even though what you say Sunday I'm always go back and look because that's what he said in in in, in, uh, in, in Joshua chapter one meditate day and night right. so you, you you can come and even now you can share a word little mark share a word David share a word sometime I may not fully understand it I'm, I'm not going to lie to you you understand I remember last year David share a uh, psalm but I never to be honest with you I never studied that psalm that was some 40 talking about passion you remember david mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so, so i went back mm. read the whole chapter and now because i, I, I it's impossible for me to pray morning afternoon or evening i don't have a sermon to pray i've got to have a sermon i've got to have a sermon to pray and i'm telling you because i know where i've been where i was down some lift me up so what I'm saying to you is, this is Jesus said, fear, fear only one. It's all right, can come. Can kill you, can send you to hell. Huh? No, In other no. words, if you don't obey. You can come. If you don't obey, obey who? Yeah, the Holy the Spirit, Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit are one. Because, you know, you know, you mentioned um, about this when Jesus spoke oh, okay. to the disciples that were when, when, he, when he came down, obviously, and they said, "Look, your mother, your mother," and he said, "Look, behold, your mother, etc., etc." Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that's that's yeah. another example of when you read the scripture when he says, "If you love mother or father more than me, you're not worthy." He's showing an example for us to follow. That we can't make this thing. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. My mom, my dad. You know. Nothing must come before God. Nothing. And anybody who truly believes in God will understand. So without I explain to anyone, if anyone doesn't understand and they say that they believe and they they worship the same God as we do, there should be no argument there. The word of God is meant to bind us together. So we're bound together by, by fellow believers. By fellow believers. But this is this is where I see that scripture. I will say to you guys, Donald, and I know Donald have a big responsibility. The the the, the church is, I, 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 I think he has to do that because that's the work of body, the, the commitment. So, by the end of the day, what I'm saying to you is, there's something I don't know. Maybe I, if I'm wrong, correct me. The word is with you, but I believe God is starting doing something right now yeah. in that little test day that we might think test day. And I'm saying to you. For last week, David, for you to come in that scripture. And the same week, Saturday, I was invited to a prayer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the same thing they got to pray this time on the same thing. And I said to myself, can't be. I said, what? Matthew 6. It's exactly where you start. The, the king. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'll tell you the truth. I can run outside and say to anybody. This is this is the hour. This is well, exactly those people start. The king exactly much to see. I said, What? Listen, if he was not late, I would phone you. But then I said, No, you work because you work hard. I said, I will phone you because well, I don't want to meet with you. How come? 
it, it was only me. Donald was there. You were not there. Mark, Mark was not there. How come that was a Saturday? Mm -hmm. How come these people start this thing there? Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Huh? Well, well, this, well, this is how the, <laughs> listen. The, this is how the spirit works. Um, okay, well, yeah. the Holy Spirit is controlling all of it. Yeah, this is how the spirit works. The, word, the spirit wor works, and not like the flesh. You know, right. the, the spirit works in harmony. If the spirit works <laughs> in harmony with us. You know, our the Bible says our spirit is the spirit be a witness with our spirit that we are children of God. There has, to, there has to be a weakness. There has to be a weakness in everything we do. God has to sanction everything we do. Exactly. Sorry, Donald. No, sorry. I was just going to say, the second thing you said um, as well, in regards to patience. Yes. I always hear that. I, I hear that in my spirit all the time. We have to be patient with the unbelievers. Because we can't, we can't control what happens everywhere. But one thing that never changes is the word of God. Not one thing that never changes is 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 the is the commission that we have, the assignment that we have to represent him here on earth. Christ showed patience, a lot of patience. I remember when when the when the Roman soldier came and wanted his servant to be healed, Christ turned around after healing after healing he said, I don't see that, that level of faith amongst my own. So we have to exercise patience and trust me to do it when I'm doing my work at night. Remember, I'm being paid to do a job, but this particular woman who wants to come close to God, she's a white American middle class woman who's lived a very entitled life. So I'm trying to let her know that to come to Christ, you have to, to check about those things and you must only be dependent on him. You don't want to depend on, on anybody else apart from him. He is in, in, he in trust, in he depends. When these dark and grey days approach us, we will be tested. Our faith will be tested. That's why Paul pre-warned us and said it's long suffering, it's the rest of the spirit, but for those that can endure. We're all gonna go for it. We're in the last days now. No more no, no more comfort time. The last days. So we will we will be tested. We will be tested. We have to be tested. That's how God's that's how God's mighty power is shown. Every prophet that we've read about, they all had to go for a trial. If there was no trial, there'd be no story for Daniel, Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and Elizabeth. They all went through. They all went through every single one of them. That's why Christ made it quite clear. If any of us are gonna represent him, if we want to save our life, to, to, to be fearful and accept and give our arm to vaccination, then then, then we lose our salvation. That's the reality. Because he says that if I want to save their life, we'll lose it. We represent him here on earth. We cannot do that. People, have, people, people are more disciplined in their jobs. This is what I've been saying. There are people that are more disciplined in their jobs than they are to the word of God. There you are. And it's very sad. Yes, they work for McDonald's. They work for McDonald's. And they will, they, will, they will wear what the McDonald's say they must wear. They will do whatever the McDonald's man say they must do. But, <laughs> but the kingdom of God, which is the most greatest thing, the most yeah. precious thing, we cut in corners. Oh yeah, yeah, but there's no buts. There is no buts. So a lot of people think I'm very, very hard when I speak like that. But I can't. I can't speak any different. This is what I wanted to say. No, there's no cutting corners. Because there you are. You no see, cutting. that is a problem now. When you speak the way you say you have to speak, in other words, you flow in the, the Holy Spirit. You you obey the other word now. You you, you it, it's another step level. You you are you 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 are sad me you 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 you, you humble but then the key obedience so when you obedience Peter because he had problem uh, well he was not obey Jesus <laughs> he, he didn't obey he didn't obey he always the wrong thing wrong thing wrong thing wrong thing that's what Donald no, said he wants to him to him set up to him to him yeah, all the time that's that. what Jesus remember Jesus telling him get behind me. No, it's Jesus not. Jesus said, get me. No, is it, is it Jesus who to tell me that? Get behind. He, he's talking to demon coming to, to, to Peter. And Peter, this demon was controlled by that. He has to speak that way. So, this is uh, 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 what, what Donald was saying. The people here, but I believe people here, they're not tapping. They're not tapping. 
They um, say with the mouth, like David said. Remember yeah, the mouth? yeah. But they don't mean deep inside. They don't. Yeah. And the, um, yeah. Go on, go on. Yeah, brother, go on. Albert, I quite go agree on. with you. I, I quite agree with you. Sometimes, huh? yes, sir, I quite agree with you. Sometimes the word of God can be not so soft. Some can, sometimes it can hit us right. hard, right? You know, um, you know, sometimes Jesus call him hypocrite. You, you know, the fire described in the fire, hypocrite. Now, you know, if you say some to somebody they're a hypocrite, they will say, Oh, you can't be following Christ and calling me a hypocrite. But Jesus called him hypocrite and says, so You're full of dead man bones, you know, and all sorts of things. Jesus cursed. The, the word of God is not always, but brothers, the word of God is not always pleasant. And we have to realize that we can't always be nice. We have to talk it as it is. That Jesus did. We have to. But you know, some people are, are so willing to please everyone. And they ple they're not pleasing God. And that's what, you know, come back to what David mentioned about. Uh, um, you, 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 you're not only um, uh, speakers of learning. You must be doers of the word. Not just hearers of the word. We can't always, we can't please, if we try to, even Jesus himself, he couldn't please everyone. Because if he could please everyone, if he could please everyone, they wouldn't crucify him. So, brethren, even though we're children of God. You know what says, well, what was Exactly, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, David. No, no, I was going to say that, I said I'd rather, I'd rather share the word with one person than than to tickle the ears of a hundred. Yeah, because well, that's I, it. I, I, I fear God. That's and it. I can't afford to, to be to be going against against the word of God. And I'd rather to to, to meet one hundred. I'd rather a hundred people come into the room and ninety nine leave, and there's one. That's behind. right. So that's that one that's. Wants to hear the, the true undoubted word of God. Is that's wonderful. that's the right way. That's the right way, David. Your God is right. God is not a God that the word about numbers. It's not about quantity. No. It's about quality. That's what God deals with. That's where you are. It's not quantity. It's not how many. It's how, how, how few and how righteous they are. They have to qualify. But we, we have to be qualified. We are qualified to talk to God. We are qualified. It's not everyone is qualified to talk to God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But we are qualified. Uh, 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 that's why yes, and the scripture mentions that the scripture scripture says these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Yeah. They will they will act the most holy in public, but behind closed doors it's a complete different thing. You no, know, we don't always know it, but God will give you the, the spirit of the sermon. A lot of times you can sense it in your spirit tells mm -mm, something came right with this individual. And then later on God revealed it to you and you think, Ah, I, I understand. That's God's confirmation that this person was not who you thought they were. So with this, these are the days we will see it now. This is this is the time of revelation. It's crucial. From last year and onward, we're in a time of revelation. It's crucial. You know, we and the tears will be separated. And mm -hmm. I must. Well, 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 I'm telling you by experience, which I, 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 I learned from last year, the, 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 the place I used to go, just there one comes to. And it's a small city. Well, it's, it's small for, for for the capacity of 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 of, uh, of, of believers. And uh, and it takes for well, fifteen hundred people. It, it was a cinema which they bought. But now they got a one further rep outside London. I don't bother to go there. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is, at the end of the day, the same group of people which I learn, especially when I learn between. 2004, 2006, I learned that in a tent, supposed to take 25,000 people. Now, they extend the tent, it take about 30, just over 30 or 32,000. And, and most of these people, they, they, a lot of them, they, they go support about 10 church, 10,000 10, 10, 10, 10, church, they support them. So now, and Everything they talk about, every time they come a preacher, because they always have guests from, they do a, 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 what's a, a cruise in the world. Every time they have new preachers come. Every preacher they would like to talk about, they, they, 
the people that I'm saying to you, I know them, I was in the same building, they, they were always excited. The message they talk about is prosperity. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. 20 years I've been there. I know. And, and a lot of them, I work with them. I work for them in their house. And I'm talking about pastors. But this pastor is, in, is, is for years, isn't the problem. What's the problem? He cannot change. One Englishman they invite, he came and preached about, about law. As if the man was talking against the war. They don't respond. But I bet you bring another another pastor preach about prosperity. You will see that oh we bless. We bless. God bless them. I've got nice messages. And I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not married. Huh? I'm telling I'm not condemned. You see now when you talk like that, people will tell you condemn. I'm telling you, I know. They bless because they they have they have money and and, and some of them well God bless them. They got a few houses here. And, 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 he and I asked them one question. I said, listen, all this poverty going down to happen. Why is it all of you here? You don't need a pastor. Why can't you, all of you, every month, you put 50,000, 50 pounds every month. And through a year, see how much. I said, if there's a thousand of you here, you all over the world, all over France, America, all over Contact them. There's the there's, there's internet now. Contact them. Tell them let's 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 put money. Don't depend on them to send money to poor power people. Save do, do you really want to try to say fifty pounds you give every month? Say thousand of you give to, to help your people. But instead, my friend <laughs> What you see, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were they don't, don't telling you the yeah. truth. And that, that, if I was not strong, I would not be with you here today. Yeah. If I was not strong spiritually, I would not be with you. The reality, Binti, is that that's what the masses want to hear. They want to hear about prosperity. They want to hear about money, making lots of money. They want to, they want to hear about those things. And the sad thing is, that's completely against the word of God. But, but what can we do? It's the power that we face in a very high place. Wow. Brother Binti, we're going to close now. Um, I just want to give God the thanks, the praise, the honor, and the glory. Thank you for your for, for, for your message, Brother Binti, Brother Donald, young Marcus. Bless you, my brother. God the thanks, the praise, and the honor. We pray for Brother Gabriel. Yes. Who, um, himself and his, yes, yes, yes. his wife and daughter. I will never say, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, that you know they got that result. Oh. So, yeah, it, it is well. He called me um, yesterday. And we spoke for a little while. Um, they wanted his wife to get vaccination, and I told him what I told him. I said, "Well, it's not 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 kingdom. That's not always the wise thing to do at all." But he was in agreement anyway. So it is, it is well. But there's loads of people now, as I, as we spoke already, that say that they are they are kingdom people and they are running to be vaccinated. That's a sad thing about it. It's very disappointing. Very disappointing. But, but like, like, like we've all been in agreement, we have to speak God's word. Yes, yes, now. yes. Not to tickle the ears, but some will be offended. One thing. they didn't come to bring peace, but restored. You know, it, it, we're, we're going to offend people. As long as yes, we as long yes, as yes, offended, yes, not yes. we're arrogant. Yes. But because we use the word of God, yes. once we use a message that they can check in their own Bible and see it, then we are then we're, then we're, 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 we're innocent. We are we, what the Bible says, where are my accusers? Where am I, if I am guilty of anything, let us all be guilty of sharing the unvalued word of That's God. That's right. But not on our own understanding. So oh. it is well. Blessings. But we have to do that. These, these are the times where we will be persecuted. Blessings, my well. brother. Blessings, my brother. God bless you all. Bless you too. Yes. God bless. But I'm looking forward to Sunday. God bless you. Yes, Sunday, sir. God bless you. Yes, God bless you too. God bless you, my brother. Little Mark, thank you very much. Okay, thank Mark. Yes, Take care, Mark. Mark. Little Mark, me, keep me, strong. Me. Keep reading Little the Mark. word. Little Mark, you. Keep you reading. Mark. Keep reading the word. That's it. God will let me open your heart. Yes, sir. God bless. Yes, sir. Yes, God, bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless.